Hello, hello, hello. It is Country Fried Butterfly here, and we are about to play some Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Yes, I know I've been playing Skyrim for a little while, but let's turn that down just a little bit so you guys can hear me. Although I might be loud enough. I might be too loud. I don't know. But it's all good. But I've just kind of started on, like, the second season, believe it or not. Um, so, yeah. Okay, we're going to move this icon up here. That way I don't touch it when I'm... But this is my peeps. I've gotten the... This version of Kuja. The Angel of Death Kuja. And then I got Sephiroth, and we got Vincent, and we got the original Kuja, and we have this last one. So. Um, I'm just a casual player of this. Um, don't judge me on how I play. Now, if you have, like, tips or, you know, any suggestions. But hey, you could do this to this person and make them more powerful. Or hey, you could do this to this their weapon and, you know, stuff like that. It's whatever. I've always been a big fan of Final Fantasy. Um, I've played Final Fantasy. My very first Final Fantasy would be Final Fantasy VIII, believe it or not. It was, that's when I actually started getting real big on Final Fantasy. And, yeah. So, I decided, oh, I've got to invest in this game. So, Final Fantasy's been a big, a big th thing of mine. So, yeah. I've got some double people. I haven't really done anything. I've gotten like four different versions of of Laswell. He's like my all time favorite. He's like the like this game Sephiroth to me because I don't know. I guess because of the sword and the the whole his whole outlook, but his attitude reminds me a lot of I don't know. Kind of a there's not really a main character in well. I guess you could say Cecil. He reminds me a lot of Cecil. Like the way he, you know, he has to fight with his demons in a way. In the second season, he does. Because from what I've grasped, I haven't really gotten that far in the second season with Las with Laswell and. Uh, Reagan. But. Oh, I got a notification. But. Here's. Um, and I thought it was ridiculous when they first started coming out with Sephiroth on this game. I wanted him. Ultimately, he wanted him. That is. You know, everybody's like, oh my god, it's a Sephiroth. And yes, he was just as powerful as, as he was on 7 and 7 Remake. But, I mean, that's if you made him that powerful. And I just happen to be friends with a few people that have a very powerful Sephiroth. And now, the most powerful for now, right now, that a lot of people have is Cloud. That I have on my favorites list, so... Um, I'm just trying to get these doubles out. Guess I'll scroll a little slower so y'all see all my characters. Absolutely awesome. I got two friends. I just gotta get rid of this one. So, I guess. Uh, 
but um so like I've said uh I guess this video is just kind of a little a little bit more about my background of you know video games Final Fantasy in general um I don't have too many people that uh you know I'd, I'd like to have Noctis you can tell I don't have Noctis I do have him though and I call him like Final Fantasy 13 uh Final Fantasy 15 Sephiroth I call him even though that's that's um Luna Freya's brother but that's beside the point I just think he's the fun he's the Sephiroth of that game or his attitude is that's what I'm trying to say his attitude is now his powerfulness could I mean hell he died in the, the game so spoilers alert if you ain't beat out freaking uh, guys, it took me it took me a long time to beat out 15. Not because it was hard, because I just wanted to do the hunts before I played the main game even further. I did a lot of the missions before I even went to the actual game. Now the missions after you beat the game are kind of to me, I think it's kind of useless because you know the ending and it's just kind of sad because you know that, yeah, let's just say I cried for three days for this, for that freaking ending. That was sad. I hated the fact. I'm not going to spoil the ending for the people who had not beaten 15. So, yeah, I have, uh, Miss Ario, uh, Miss Grande here, and then Katy Perry at the bottom, which I know Ariana Grande said that she, um, when she had that little bunny outfit on, she felt like a Vieira from, from 12, which... Yeah, no, it's whatever, and she, she loves Final Fantasy, which is weird, because not a lot of, I mean, not a lot of female actresses and singers actually come out and say, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gamer, or whatever, so, yeah, so, as you could tell, I have, what's his face, from, uh, the other Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy Tactics version. Um, and if I say what's his face or what's her face, that's because I don't know how to properly pronounce their name. Because I don't want to get any freaking feedback from negative people. Oh, his name is so-and-so. Oh, no, that's not the way you say it. No, her name is pronounced like this. You know what? I'm not even going to attempt. So, or I, I forgot their name. One of the two. So. But yeah, I have a few people from 13. A few people from 12. Um. I actually got. Everybody from 12. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> And I don't know if Sarah's from, like, if they're going to, they probably included Sarah because I know they got, um, Noel, is that his name? I forgot his name. From 13 to, which was ridiculous, by the way. And as you go, I have everybody from 9, I, well, not everybody from 9, I don't have Quinna, and I want Quinna, but... I have Freya, and I have Armorant, have, what was her name? I forgot your name, bitch. What was your name? I forgot her. Oh my gosh. Nine was, is my all-time favorite Final Fantasy. Um, besides, I think, besides Tactics. I loved Tactics. Tactics was my game, was my shit. I have Zidane, I have Vivi, I have Garnet, I have Steiner, I have Eco, 
I pronounce it eco. Anybody else wanted to? I know it's pronounced differently because they they say their names in Final Fantasy, the world of Final Fantasy, because she's in there. I haven't made it that far, but I know that's not how you pronounce her name. But I will, so y'all can get over it. Um, let's see. Let's try a different view. I have a few of the um, the people in their armor from the game itself. I have a lot of people. Of course, I probably know a lot of y'all. Probably have a lot more than I do, but that's okay. Letting the dog in. Great. Did you use the bathroom? Um. Both of Let's see what we got here. I have two canes. I have the good cane and I have the original cane. Cane was actually, I guess Cain was like one of the very, you know, very first legendaries that you can get for the game. This one right here. And he's not very powerful, but he's, he's and y'all were like, he should be, he's your very first one. Yeah, well, guess what? He's not. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like Cain and all, but, you know, there's a lot more that I love besides them. Lonnie, yeah, that's Lonnie. And then we got Garnet and there's Eco and Black Wall number three. BB Sir Fratley. If that's how you pronounce his name. I'm sorry if I did it wrong, but then I got this bitch. Mikoto. Which you never played in 9. So, which makes you think, what kind of powers is this bitch supposed to have? She never shows anything. What are they going to do? Oh, well, it's Final Fantasy. They can do what they want, but whatever. I just got Sir Orin yesterday, actually. So, he's kind of new. And then I have Isaru, Lady Lunaleska... I have that bitch. So yeah. Uh, I got Edna a few days ago actually. So. If you haven't already. T can already tell. My main people are up here. That I use a lot. And the only reason why this Kuja and powered up all the way. I, th I don't think he's powered up all the way. Oh, oh excuse me, y'all. Well, I think he is. I've still got a lot of work to do with my beeps here, so I'd appreciate it if y'all didn't give me any shit about it. So, I tried to level up Vincent a few days or a few hours ago, and he only leveled up to 18, because he was only 100. And he leveled up 18 levels. So, Vincent is actually one of my favorite characters. So, and yeah, I don't know why I have both Kujas on that team. So, because this Kuja, believe it or not, isn't very powerful. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is... I have another Kefka, by the way. I didn't already see that. I have another Kefka. So. And I have Ace. And Ace is actually from Final Fantasy Type-0. Which y'all probably don't know. Because 
That was the very first Final Fantasy for the PS4 when it came out. Or at least I thought. I think. Don't you don't quote me on that. But it was it was one of the Final Fantasies, the first Final Fantasies I saw on the PS4 at the time. Or that was the first system that it came out on was Type Zero. So that Type Zero is different. It's all around different. Like you have just all these characters, and the only main characters I play with is if you can't already notice, you notice Trey down here. He's actually a one of my favorite characters on Type Zero, besides Ace. I want to say it's Ace, Trey. I have a lot of them actually, if not all of them. Now, there's nothing wrong with Type Zero. I actually liked Type Zero. The the whole, like, I guess I like the gameplay more than anything. The storyline was a bit wonky. I'll say that because everything's going left field and all of a sudden you're, oh, we're back in right field. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Dude, what? But we just, what, huh? No, yeah. If any Final Fantasy I thought was the most confusing is, it's got to be that one. Because in, oh, I thought, I thought you think 8 was confusing. Because eight went, eight went, oh, eight eight went there, and but then seven went there even more. Well, seven then seven and then eight. So, I guess they kind of, they just decided they were going to go retarded with seven, and then eight they decided let's get a little less retarded, and then with nine, they said okay let's go back to normal. Nine actually had. It took a twist, a really weird plot twist. That's what nine took. So, cause seven and eight was just, huh? Because in seven, poor old Cloud had an identity crisis. He basically forgot himself and thought he was Zack. Spoilers, if you have never played Final Fantasy seven, I'm so sorry, go play it, please. Not the remake. Play 7 and then play 7 the remake. Because it's two, believe it or not, it's two different games. Two different games. Two different games. I have, I have both 7, an original on, play, on PlayStation. And I have the remake. And I've beat it already, all, obviously. And I've still got to play it on hard mode. I just haven't been in the progress. I'm actually in the progress of playing Dragon Quest 11. I'm trying to get in that process of beating that because that's an epic game too. Dragon Quest was is is epic. But anyway. Who was I looking for? Oh, type zero people. See there's Ace. And then there's this guy. I forgot I don't know all their names. So I know there's Ace, Dos, Trey, uh Oh hell, I should have went to that way I could see their names. Go here. Yeah, they might be at the bottom again. Yeah, here we are. Okay, so there's Ace, Jack, Seven, Nine. I don't know how, exactly how to pronounce their name, so I'm not going to. Eight, Rim, King, Sace, or Sice, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Machina, Deuce, I guess that's how you name, uh, uh, Cater, or Carter, how you want to pronounce it, and then Celestia, but, um, my main people I played with on Type Zero was Ace, I tried to play with her, Seven, I tried, um, I played with him a little bit. I did not even attempt to try to play with her. I did not even attempt to play with her because of because she's so. She probably I bet you anything. Cause see, that's why I'm thinking the weakest people. You think the weakest people? She looks so weak to have this huge mace, to pick up this huge mace. But these are special people that can harness some kind of power or whatnot. Yeah. This game goes into left field, right field, and it goes everywhere. I swear to Bob, this is probably the weirdest game. I did play with him a lot. I didn't play with Rim. 
I played with King. I played with her. And I tried to play with Makina. Makina was actually pretty easy to... to Now, do... I tried playing with this bitch here, but come on now. A flute? A flute? <laughs> I understand they tried to keep the whole concept with Final Fantasy. You know, there's bards in Final Fantasy. Hell, I'm trying to I'm trying to play Final Fantasy. Um, uh, Final was it 14? I think it's 14. Don't get me wrong. It's online. It's I think it is 14. That's got Shadowbringer. I think. I don't know, but I'm trying to play that one. And it, and you could be just anything. You can be a carpenter, a cook. You can be just. A gold ma maker, a, a blacksmith, a, a, a goldsmith's what's called, and then there's just so much shit on there you could do. So, I guess they kind of kept the whole, try to keep the whole bard thing because there were bards in Final Fantasy. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Edward was one, um, and it was actually a crystal that you got. Um, it was a bard. In the very beginnings of Final Fantasy. Um, and. If I'm not mistaken. Like didn't Cat Sith. Uh, oh of course. It's, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong too. But that's how I was. I was raised to call him. Because there was other people that called him Cat Sith. So his name, his name might be called Q Sith. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. You go with your pronunciation. I'm going to go with mine. But if y'all don't know who I'm talking about. I hope y'all know Final Fantasy 7. Yeah. Kate Sith. However you want to pronounce it. But I, if I'm not mistaken. Like in 7. Couldn't you? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've played 7 at all. Uh, you could sing. I think. And put them to sleep. Like in Pokemon. You know like Jigglypuff. Gardevoir. You know. But. I might be wrong. Um, but, yeah, there weren't many bars in Final Fantasy. Yeah, here he is. Edward. A lot of people say he was useless because all he did was... I liked him, personally, because, you know, he, it was different. I'm sorry. I like different. I'm different. You're different. I'm weird. You're weird. What is normal? It's different. It's weird. A lot of people don't get that concept. But whatever. To each his own. That's why I like the Final Fantasy that was on the... What was it? The DSi. The DSi light. I think it's what it's called. And they put... What is it? The, like the, the, the musical Final Fantasy collaboration thing. That was Nito Squido. That was epic. But. I guess I'm just kind of showing y'all my little. my All my peeps or whatever. I guess I'll. Uh, I guess I could. Go play a little bit. And I'm like oh this is just boring. Yeah. Um. I came back here. Because I need. I have. If you can tell. I have 13 outgoing quests. That I have dot done. So. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I just wanted to hurry up and get done with the first season. Because it... Y'all, I didn't think the first season was going to be... I mean, it kept going and going. It was like the very first Darksiders. If I felt like... Okay, this is the end. No, what? It's not the end? It's like, dude. Freaking end already. So, I guess I'll go back here. <laughs> All right. Okay, well. Oh, shit. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know who I have on my team. But here we go, guys. I think we're st with Laswell and, yeah, the rest of us. Uh, I guess y'all want me to read it. I'll read it for you. I'm... Um, I'm not good with words, so don't even judge me, okay? Let's say, here we go. It's Jake. Okay, 
We reached the labor camp, but look at all those guards. I guess it's frontal attacks out of the question then. All right, what now? If only Nicol <laughs> Nicole was here. See, I want to call him Niccolo. I don't know why I want to call him Niccolo because that's spelt Nicole. Clearly that's spelt Nicole, but, it, but Nicole has an E in it. So I'm thinking his name is Niccolo. I don't know if that's what how y'all want to pronounce it. I'm going to pronounce it as Niccolo. I don't know. So, if only Niccolo was here with us, he'd be able to come up with the best strategy to handle this in an instant. Well, I'm sorry you had to be stuck with me instead. Stuck with... But it's not like you have any experience with strategies anyway, right? Those two are, those are two different matters. How are they different? You're being ridiculous. Okay, see, I can't stand that bitch because she, I can't stand people who just can't, like, show their own feelings. Wasn't there somebody like that on Final Fantasy? There was plenty of people like that on Final Fantasy. I can't remember, but I brought the water. Too slow. What? Oh, no, don't. What? You didn't kill him, did you? How dare you make us wait for so long? What? When did you come so arrogant? Have you forgotten that you were an Emperor's chosen elite? I I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Sure, we'll forgive you, but only if you can withstand this punishment. Aw, you assholes. No, no, stop, please. I'm begging you. Please don't kill me. Too bad, low life. There's there are scores of others waiting to replace you even if you die. It's not nice. Can we stop kicking, please? Can we do something? That's so cruel. How can they even do something like that? Well, apparently, why don't you call them and ask them? I, I go, Fina, go. I can't watch it anymore, too. Run, bitch, run. Stop it already, you assholes. I mean, she needs an attitude, I'm sorry. Who are you? A blind bitch that's fixing the kick you. Oh, never mind. I don't know, because I don't know who that guy is. Are you all right? I'll pet you up right now. Uh, better now? Thank goodness. Please hide in the shadows for a bit. We'll come back for you later. Promise. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right on. So, what do we do now? That's well. I want to help the prisoners here. Tongue tied. Yes, I know. However, with our current numbers, there's only so much we can do. For now, as much as possible, we should avoid battle. See if Rain's here and secure an escape route route for the prisoners. I see. After securing an escape route route, however y'all want to pronounce that, we'll split into two divert. Split into two to divert the enemy. Why would you do that? We'll split into two to Okay. While they're hot on our heels of one group, the other group will leave the prisoner outside. That's the plan. Roger that. It's probably the best we can do in the current, in our current situation. Is what it is. Very good. Well then, let us begin. Why did they show the prisoner? 
I don't like the fact that they showed the prisoner. Okay, so no items cleared without being KO'd and no continue. So the very first places are actually pretty neat. Or, obviously, as y'all would know. Oh, I went in there with my elite team. Okay, so this is Kuja. We'll just do this move. Yeah, see, I'm not very good. This is my Sephiroth. He's not very good either, but whatever. And these are low levels, so. Everybody on my team is like uber leveled up, so. So, of course, they're going to look like, oh my gosh, this bitch just, the yeah, it's just because they're low leveled, so. This is Vincent. Okay, this is Trey. I should have Ace on my team, but whatever, it don't matter. Why did I choose that? Nobody knows. So all of his moves hit all the enemies? No, here we go. Yeah, see, he's he's not leveled up enough. I haven't paid him much attention. And this is my last one. So we're just going to go repeat all that shit. Yeah, he'll probably level up. He's, I think he's still level one. So. I actually like that Kuja. That Kuja they put in here, that one that, that, that was right there, he is actually from, I want to say, Final Fantasy, uh, the Cydia. The fighting Final Fantasy game. Which a lot of people don't like, to be honest. I, on the other hand, I loved it. So. Um. Let's see. Let's change. Well, I guess I'll go to this first. Okay, we're gonna. That's my team. I don't have a fifth member for. I only have four of them. So I only have. I put the Emperor in there because I guess he was closest. That was my team when I went to the first. When I, you know, the first thing. Uh, that Don't mind that team. That team's retarded. Okay, this is my team now for this particular sector. I like to use the original team. Now, don't, he's probably the only high-level person on this team. So, yeah. Besides her, she's okay. I mean, she's not the best world either, but still. So. I thought she had something else, but I guess not. Yeah, she's not the best in the world. And I do not like Lid whatsoever. And this is the other... I don't have dispersions second season Jake this is last season's Jake so I'm just using him because that's just uh, that's what I'm doing so yeah you can tell who I've who, who I work on and who I don't it clearly shows so we're gonna just repeat this whole concept here Oh, that's not good. Oh, well, it's not like you killed me, so it's not a big thing. I normally do this move. That way it kills everything. <laughs> because Laswell's a badass anyway. <laughs> but.
when I do get to a big boss, I will use one of my friends to help out. Or one of my favorites. So. I guess I'll do this, finish this out, and then I'll let y'all go on y'all's awesome lives. Oh, she learned Kiraja. Oh, shit. I forgot to use Black Magic. I will. And to use all that bullshit. But I'm not a rule. I'll go, I go back and I redo that shit so it's not a big thing. Lightning. So I gotta use lightning three times. I think I got some lightning. Y'all. Jake should have some lightning. Yeah, here we go. See, Lid reminds me of, I'm a big Sonic fan as well, and she just reminds me of Amy, of how useless. A lot of people's going to be like, no, Lid's pretty good, Lid's pretty good once you level her up, da 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 I understand that. I just don't like her attitude. So... Because I think, you know, she's mature enough to fight for what she believes in. And yet she's not mature enough to, to say how, how much she really feels for Jake. That, I mean, I understand that could be nerve-wracking, yes. But come on, bitch, really? Okay, so this is... On the boss, this is the boss one, so I'm gonna use one of my people's here. <laughs> See, there's my Sephiroth friend here, and then I don't like to use anybody that I already have them in my team, like the Laswell and uh, like another Sephiroth. Well, I don't have Sephiroth on my team, but like another rain or another laswell or if i have i don't like to duplicate so since i don't have a rain on my team i could use that rain but i have a fina on my i have that same fina on my team or fina how are you going to pronounce her name so we're gonna choose we're gonna choose lulu Oh, because I like Lulu. Okay, we're gonna let Laswell kill all these bastards. If I can find this God blessed move. I don't know why I can't find this move all the time. Anyway. And we're just gonna keep this up. I do need to get some more weapons because, yes, my people suck because they don't have that. Okay. So we're going to use Lulu now. And just to be funny, we're going to use Double and Black Magic, Tornado and Flood. And that's all she wrote. I like the fact that she actually, that was unique the way they did with the whole doll thing. Like the doll was the, so a lot of the sort of, like it's like voodoo is how they did it. The, 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 black, the doll was her 
source of magic, basically. So. Oh. What have you got here? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Um. Damn. Just don't kill him. Just knock him out. Good. Looks like it went well. That's obvious. Yes. Aw, Rain isn't here. No, he isn't. However, there are still places we haven't yet haven't looked yet. Let us continue our search. Yeah. Uh, the prison. Hey, aren't you? What are you doing here? You need to rest. <laughs> oh, I knew there was something. Yeah. What? But why? So, you're the intruders. Why did you betray us? Do you need even need to ask? There is no place. Oh my gosh. Okay. For anyone that dares to defy the Emperor, why would he protect you? He's got his will and good, now what lies will? What else? The only way forward is by defeating them. Well, well, this one's mighty confident in his own abilities, huh? In that case, how is this? The bump? Oh, he only shot him in the leg. Well, so you shot him, asshole! You seriously think we care about someone who paid back our own good deeds with betrayal? Go on and keep shooting. See who I care. Damn. Really? That's not how you really feel, though. Excuse me? Doesn't matter. Either you surrender or the prisoner dies. Wanna guess how many bullets it takes for me to kill this man? Stop. There's no need to be so cruel. Calm down, Lid. We'll be playing right into his hands if we lose our cool. Fools that try to help prisoners escape always cave in to threats like this. <laughs> it's like taking candy from a baby. How many times are people going to use that line? It's like taking candy from a baby. Nowadays, babies don't have candy. Nowadays, babies got iPhones. Okay? Or shall I continue? I don't mind at all, you know. That's what, what should we do? That's right. We have no choice. Yeah. We'll surrender without a fight. On one condition that you give that prisoner medical attention. <laughs> a softy to the bone. Put all of them behind bars. Huh? Oh, hey, it's what's his face? Asgar. So let me guess, he's gonna come and get us all out. So. Okay, guys. I reckon that's all I got for y'all today. Um. I reckon uh, it's just. Random shit, I guess, from now on. Not a lot of, um... I don't, you know, I, I guess I might, you know, if anybody wants me to continue with Skyrim, I might continue with Skyrim. Um, I might do Disgaea next time. I might do 
just uh, just anything y'all just let me know what you want me to do and I'll try to do my best to my abilities oh that's if I even have the game but I do have many a games I have uh, anything from <laughs> let's just say I have like Final Fantasy 10 2 twice Final Fantasy 10 three times I've got all kinds of PlayStation 2 games, which is kind of hard to record from the PlayStation 2, but I need better equipment for that. So we'll have to wait on the PlayStation 2 games, which one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games or games of all time has got to be Nocturne. Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne is probably one of my all-time favorites because not only Nocturne, but I love Persona. I love just uh, Digital Devil Saga. Um, what is it? Demon Summoner. I love all those those games dealing with Shin Megami Tensei where you can summon demons and it's just an RPG style and I love it. Especially Nocturne, I'm sorry. Nocturne and Persona are my two faves. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Digital Devil Saga. I have to beat that out actually. I haven't beat the first one out. I'm at the very end, but I have to level up some. And I have two. I haven't and one of my favorite, two of my favorite voice actors play in Digital Devil Saga, which is Christopher Freeman and Steve Bloom, which are Heat and Gale, I think you want to put it. Gale or Gale, I think that's Gale, I think his name is Gale. But they play two of those, um, Crispin plays Heat and Steve Bloom plays Gale, so... I really love that fact. Um, a little note, though. I hope and pray that it's, I know they're looking for fresh, fresh new um, voice actors for the new Final Fantasy VII remake. But there's just some, I mean, they changed. They did change Sephiroth's voice. They have somebody different doing Sephiroth, which they did a very good job. Now, the only person I could think of is if they changed Vincent Valentine. Vincent was one of my all-time favorite characters from any Final Fantasy. If they change his voice from anything from Steve Bloom, and I know Steve Bloom would not mind playing Vincent because he did it in Dirge of Cerberus, he did in Advent Children, and which Christian Freeman also played in... I don't know if Rude was in their servers. I don't remember. But he was in Advent Children. And Christian Freeman plays Rude in that. But they do not play in they do not play it, obviously, in the remake because they wanted fresh new voice actors and actresses and all that. Which I give them all props. They did fairly well. Um Especially adding people that weren't originally in Final Fantasy VII, which I thought was actually really cool. Um, they, I like the fact that you had to dance in order to get, you know, it, it, was a, it was a different turn. You didn't have to do all these missions just to get the hair, the tiara, the special underwear, the special perfume, the dress. You didn't have to do, you know, run back and forth between all this bullshit um but yeah i thought it was kind of cool how they just said okay here you dance and we'll dress you up basically and it didn't matter if you failed or not as far as i as long as you did fairly well in the little dance competition you did you you uh you, he dressed you up anyway so um and the fact that they have that whole arena thing that's new which I actually kind of think it's going to do fairly well as well. Because it might... Um, I don't know if they're thinking about... They have to. Because the Golden Saucer is where you first meet Cat Sif. And so I think they need to put the Golden Saucer in. But that's probably where they took out the arena part in Final Fantasy VII. And put it in Final Fantasy VII Remake. And they just put it in that sector because in the original Final Fantasy 7 obviously y'all know it, the arena wasn't until the Golden Saucer so but yeah 
Uh, but I just hope that if they do put somebody as Vincent, somebody with that low and raspy voice they need, I'm, I'm going, I'm hoping, hoping they will find a very good replacement for Vincent. Um, now, they probably, I think the youth, uh, Yuffie's voice actress was fairly young anyway, so they may use her. But I don't know, they may get somebody completely different, because they want, like, they, like I keep saying, they, they want fresh new voice actors and actresses, so I can understand. Uh, I can't help but thinking maybe they'll put Matt Mercer as Vincent, which would be very good, because there for a minute i didn't i i didn't i i thought that he has a mixture to me he has a mixture of troy baker and crispin freeman all in one so he's like omg you know because he can go that low but i don't know if he can get that raspy up but it's whatever um so if if they can't um if they that that'll probably be the worst review that I give Final Fantasy Seven remake if they do it wrong. Now if they cast the wrong voice actor, nothing against the voice actor is just the fact that I'm a big fan of Steve Bloom. Steve Bloom's like my one of my all time favorites. It's Crispin Freeman, Steve Bloom, Troy Baker. Um, I guess you could say Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer's pretty good. Because he's relatively new. He's actually relatively new. He hasn't been in... Uh, like... He was in Final Fantasy XV. He played Cornelius. Or Core. However you want to... Uh, he played... Um, he plays in the, uh, the little mobile game... Um, Fire Emblem... He plays in that. I don't remember who exactly. Oh, he does. He does Crom from the Fire Emblem game. So he, you could. So he's got more. He's he can do a more regal voice. He can. He also plays in Overwatch. He plays as the quick the. I call him the Clint Eastwood lookalike, and he does a great Western accent, which is really cool. So, I'm thinking maybe they can get him to do it, but he'll have to practice that raspiness that Steve Bloom has. Steve Bloom is just epic. He's he's on up there. He's actually in the Guinness World World Records for having the most voices because he plays in any 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 and any in every almost any in every video game you think of. I said almost not every one of them. But he can get on up there, and he can get it all down there. You know, it's just absolutely awesome. And he can go in between, and he plays, he plays Digimons, he plays just, he has one of these. I think he actually played in Tokyo Ghoul. I know he played in, because he has one of, he, in a lot of his animes, he plays a lot of, like, serious kind of, well, not, I don't want to say serious kind of people. He has a fun access to him, you know, but uh, he's he plays Wolverine in a lot of the actual cartoons. And he plays Starscream in the new Transformers little computer animation series that they got out. He plays a lot of people. He plays, it's just outrageous, but y'all probably already know that, but that's the sad part. Um, but yeah, so... I reckon I'll let y'all go, and y'all can, uh, y'all can leave a like and subscribe. I'll try to get back to y'all and comment down below. Let me know what else y'all want me to continue with Brave Exvius, or if y'all want me to start on a brand new game of something and want me to record it, I'll do my darndest to do it. So, I reckon I'll see y'all later. And don't be a stranger. Y'all come back. Toodles.